Hey everyone, it's Johnny here from Movement Evolution. This is section two, knee and hip. So this is the supine hip car. All we need is yoga block or something similar to rest our head on, so they're not putting the neck under any unnecessary stress. Other than that, all you need is your own body and a hip that's not causing you any pain. So from here, we wanna bring the knee and foot hip up to a 90 degree angle. We want to reach across and clasp both hands together. It's going to take out any compensation through the thoracic. So everything lined up. We're pushing the hands together for added tension. We're pushing the left the knee into the floor or the knee that's underneath. We're tensing the stomach by tilting the pelvis. First things first, we want to flex the hamstring and pull the heel as close to the butt as possible. From here, we're going to bring the knee as close to the armpit as possible by going into hip flexion. Keeping the hip flexed, we're going to abduct, pushing the knee as high towards the ceiling as possible without letting the hips roll outward towards the wall behind me. From here, I want to envisage a spike going down through the knee into the hip and it's the heel that turns and that we try to keep the knee as fixed as possible. Now this is a tough move, so slight compensations are okay. After internal rotation, we then adduct before dropping down into hip extension. Keep throwing plenty of oxygen, keeping the hip in extension. We then adduct again further, and we pause the spike through the hip again, we then externally rotate, bringing the heel back in before flexion and back down to the starting position.